I used to pitch with just storyboards like most people did. Now I pitch with animatics. So let's talk about the differences here. This is what pitching with a storyboard would look like. Okay. They're not very big. Not very impressive to look at. So you have to get close to it. Okay. This is what the storyboards look like when you get close. Okay. So in pitching there, you would generally take a short stick and you walk around and you point at them. You've all seen behind the scenes videos, I'm sure, on DVDs. On pitching a storyboard, you walk around and you pitch it. You try to do the voices. You try to get the energy with it. I'm coming here and if I've got prof uh, the professor, Un Zin, he's doing this. And I'm, I'm in character. I'm making a voice for every character and then trying to remember which voice for what characters I'm going. You try to get some pace, you try to get some timing. It's a fun process to do, but the better actor has the better pitch, not the best show. It's not a great way to do it. The timing is not really going to be there. You don't get the real feel for the show like it would be on TV, no matter how good you are. Okay? So that's why I started doing animatics. With Storyboard Pro, it's easy. It's real time, basically, as I'm working in, in the software. So this is a shot from actually probably just about a month ago in Miami. This is Andrew Fitzpatrick. He owns Monster Distributes and Monster Production in Ireland. He used to be the producing partner with Don Bluth, if you remember Don Bluth. Um, so I'm pitching him a show called Luke and Reese Save the World. I do it by introducing the show, just like I said, and then instead of doing my song and dance or running around, especially in an area where I can't post storyboards, this is a suite that I had set up over there, I put up my Cintiq or any tablet, and I played him the animatic. This is what I showed him. So the two kids are uh, Luke and Reese. Reese was told by his mom, don't move a muscle. That's why he won't move from that position. His brother, however, doesn't listen to anybody. That's the bad guy. And the kids are trying to get the, get the bad guy out of their house. Now, this is a pretty simplistic animatic. You see exactly how the timing is going to go, how the pacing is going to go. It's going to play exactly the same way, no matter how I'm feeling, if I've got the energy for pitching or running around or not. I can hire really good voice actors or bring in friends who are really good actors, get a really good voice track. I can put in sound effects. I can put in music that has the tone, the feel. I can actually produce all in Storyboard Pro. I don't need to go into any other editing software. And I can put together an animatic that's going to blow your socks off every time the same way. And it's going to feel exactly like the finished product. That's the way you pitch. There is no better way. I don't even go to finish animation anymore when I do demos. Why would I? It costs a lot more. It takes a lot more time. I go straight to animatic. Because you know exactly what the visual humor on the show is going to be. If you were looking at just boards, or if I was flipping paper, nor even close to the same sort of feel. You'll see the art, but you're not going to sense for the timing. This is very classic Warner Brothers-esque kind of physical humor that you get in watching it that way. So like I said, it's all with Storyboard Pro. Let me get, kind of give you an idea on, on, on some of the basics and some of the things that happen with the software, and in particular then working with Harmony or with Animate, uh, which is the one step down from Harmony. Um, with Storyboard Pro, you're storyboarding like you do on anything else, except it's digital. I can, if I want to reuse a background, I can save it to a library, drag it back in. I don't have to redraw anything. When I'm drawing, every panel goes onto a timeline. So I'm building an animatic whether I want to or not. I can adjust the length of it just like I do in any NLE editor and just grab the end of it, make it shorter or longer. So I can time it instantly. I can have transitions between them. I have unlimited layers of audio. So I can layer in and mix my audio as I'm going. I'll record even a scratch track of myself going through the lines, put in there. So now I'm storyboarding to the dialogue. So now I'm understanding if my shots are working, what the timing is. Do I have enough shots? Do I, not have, do I have too many? Oh, this character should turn at this moment. I can actually see it. I am a better story artist because of this software, because I know instantly what's working. As I'm working, all I do is hit play. Oh, I'm missing something. Oh, that works great. I know as I'm going. I'm laying in my music. I'm, 
adjusting the volume on everything. Anything I need is happening right there as I'm going. I need to send it to a client, export a movie. They need print, great, I send them a PDF. If I'm working in Photoshop, I'm having to export every, uh, individual things, individual files, renumber things, go into uh, an Acrobat, pull them together, make a PDF. All I do is hit one button in Sorber Pro, PDF pops out. I can export uh, individual JPEGs, which I have to do often anyway. Any way I want to export, I can do it. Now, I'm ready to go into production. I can go export to Harmony or export to Animate. And it builds every scene, sets up the timing, sets up the camera moves. That's the other thing in Storyboard Pro. I can put in camera moves. I can la animate layers in it. I can make it look exactly like I want the finished piece to look. Anything I do builds into Harmony and Animate automatically. The audio clip cuts it and puts it in there, so you're animating to that clip. The storyboard panel is laid in as a background as your layout drawing for the animators. There is no way that it can get screwed up. It's set up perfectly to the frame. It's there for you. You just hand it off and they just do whatever they're supposed to do. It is unbelievable how much time this saves in every step of doing things. When I'm in Storyboard Pro and the director says, you know, can we take this sequence and put it here and see how that works? Sure. Take it, drag it, drop it, done. Any of you have ever done any storyboarding? You know how long it takes to renumber stuff and go through and erase and change and what's this? One button, renumber. Done instantly. I want to renumber just one sequence, it just renumbers that one thing. If it's already in production and I can't renumber or rename everything, great. Hit one button, locks it. Any change you do, puts A, B's, and C's in deleted automatically. You're working with other people. Let's say you guys send me the storyboards that you're working on. I open up the file. I select track changes. It's kind of, kind of like what happens in Word, if you've ever done it in Word. Any panel I make a note or adjustment or anything to, highlights in yellow. I hand it back to you. All you have to do is go right through and say anything that's highlighted in yellow, you know to look for a note or some message I have on there for you. Sometimes it's easier to describe something. I can record a note right in the software and the recording sits there on that panel. You can hear me yell at you. And that's always fun. And that's just the beginning. There's so many cool things and it's so fast and it works perfectly for production. In live action animation, even number differently. And you know what? We designed the software so you tell it if you're doing live action animation and it will fix the numbering for you perfectly. How cool is that?